Konnichiwa, friends of Shinko. Uh, I'm looking forward to answering your questions about my wonderful, brilliant, magic book, Mike McCartney's Early Liverpool. So, here's the first question, your first question. How did the plan to make Mike McCartney's Early Liverpool come about? <clears throat> well, it started 20 years ago when the boss of this wonderful firm, Genesis, asked me to do uh, my best Liverpool photographs. But I think he mainly wanted Beatles and rock and roll giants that had come through Liverpool. And so I kept putting him off to, for 20 years. <laughs> and then eventually, I uh, he passed away, joined my mum and dad up there. And uh, his uh, son, Nick, and Kathy, his daughter, took over. And so I said, OK, now is the time. If we make it more of a family book with my career, my photography, my group scaffold, etc., my brother and his chums, and the groups that, and the people, and wonderful the people who came through Liverpool. And so we set about doing Mike McCartney's early Liverpool. I'll tell you more of that later. But that is how it came about, okay? Next question. What was the editing process like for the book? Well, uh, that was a case of, we have something over here, as the whole world has got, called COVID. Uh, and, and it's now Omicron, etc. And so editing was difficult because uh, Genesis are in Liverpool and was going to go down to Guildford in just outside London, take all my legs, the prints, the stories, and do it there easily, scan them all, make a book. But something called COVID got, took over the world and we were stopped from going everywhere as you would have been in Japan. And so it was a very difficult process of doing it from here on Merseyside, here where I live, uh, down to London. But we did it, and um, two years later, very hard work, uh, we have Mike McCartney's Early Liverpool. So that's how that happened. Next question. Were there any difficult stages during the project? Difficult? It was all difficult. It was impossible. How do you do a magnificent limited edition, fine art, beautiful book from your bedroom. Now, that is very, very difficult. So it was, it was not easy, but fought, we really sort of worked hard, communicating backwards and forwards uh, till we have this lovely book, which when you get it in your hands, you will know how magic and beautiful it is. Next question. Is there a central message you hope the book expresses? Well, I should think the most important thing the book expresses is love, <laughs> old-fashioned love. That's what, to me, when you pick it up, uh, you have something, a work of art and a thing of beauty. And so, and the most important thing is the love of the people, the love of the time, etc. And uh, all I wanted to do was show you uh, Liverpool, early Liverpool in those days. And so I think the central message is I hope you see what it was like in those days, because this is before uh, so this thing called fame, this thing called uh, rich and famous, all that business. This is before the most important time. So the message is, I hope I convey that through uh, Mike McCartney's early Liverpool. And I hope more importantly, that uh, you are fascinated enough to come over and actually see not only this wonderful city, my city, but the wonderful people of Merseyside. Next question. Can you tell us the story of the silhouette on the cover? This silhouette, is it there? No, it is. Uh, that, is that came, actually it was a photograph taken of the Fab Four rehearsing stews in it in those days in the group those days. And, uh, but the most important thing, Johnny Moondog uh, was on the left, giving it the Elvis pose, right? He was playing his guitar and he was giving it the welly, but being Elvis. And so I love that 
feeling of that. So I took that image and cut it out and uh, drew it, cut it out, made a template of it. And uh, uh, oh, this, to tell you the truth, this was after my brother said, look, we're doing, we're starting up in this place called the Casbah in Haman's Green, uh, just outside of Liverpool. And the Casbah wants, a, have you got a poster? Can you do a poster for the Casbah? And I said, certainly, elder brother. And so I put this outline of John onto a piece of paper, stippled round it to give that glowing effect. And that is the story of the silhouette on the cover there. I, whenever I see it, it always brings joy. Ask me someday, next time I see you, uh, where did you see that in, um, where was it, Tijuana? I'll tell you that story in the Hard Rock Cafe. You won't believe it. Okay, next question. Are you yet to visit Japan? What kind of image do you have of Japan? I've never been to Japan. Why don't you ask me to come? I'll be on the first bus there. I have one, I was nearly going in the 60s. Me and my dad were nearly going. And we ended up, where did we end up? We ended up in Athens, which is nowhere near Japan. So I wanted to go to Japan for many, many years. My sons have been, they love it, a couple of times. But that's something that uh, I would dearly like to do. So invite me, get me over there, and I'll, I'll talk to on the tellies and radios, and uh, so that everyone I can say hello to everyone. Uh, but that would be a. And what would you? What would you like to? Uh, what kind of image of Japan? Uh, a, a very uh, interesting, far off place which has so much history and all the temples, etc. I'd love to. And the people, I believe, are very polite. And uh, it is just uh, something that I'd like to experience myself. So me and the missus will be able to look out on the 86th bus. Okay. There are many fans of yours on the scaffold in Japan. Very wise of you and very good. I'm with you. For example, your album Woman was released as a mini LP exclusively in Japan. I didn't know that. That's great. All the woman uh, lovers of that album, Woman, when you look at it, there was a DJ, a famous DJ in London, and I was supposed to be talking about the Magir album, which they've just released, by the way. The Magir album is fantastic. Get that to the whole package on Cherry Red Esoteric Records. If you like Woman, you're going to love the Magir album. Okay. And this DJ in London was supposed to be talking about the Magir album, and in the end, he holds up my woman album and says, I'll tell you the truth, Mike, I've always loved your woman album. And I said, well, it's lovely seeing my mum again. He says, your mother? What do you mean your mother? I said, it's a nun. And I said, no, no, that's my mum. She was a nurse, and that's what nurses looked like in the 20s and 30s. He said, I never knew that. So all of you that got the woman album that didn't know that, now you know it's my mum, Mary Patricia Moen. Uh, in her nurse's outfit, okay. Uh, that's it. You have a message for your fans. Uh, I have a, a very important message for all uh, the fans in Japan. Uh, that it's a very simple message. Is I hope you enjoy. I really sincerely hope you enjoy Mike McCartney's early Liverpool. When you get it in your hands, you are not going to believe. It's like Christmas. It's like it's like a present, your best birthday present coming to you. And it's wrapped in a beautiful cloth, a, a container with string. You open it. There is a box inside with this beautiful box. That box. You open it. And inside, there is my beautiful book. Okay. So that's the first thing I see. I really hope you enjoy it because I love it. <laughs> I'm very proud to have a book like that. It's a, they are magic books. Genesis do great books. So that is beautiful. And uh, also, the final message for you lot in Japan is don't stay in Japan. Once you've read my book, come over here to Liverpool and experience not only the place where all those photographs come from, but also the people of Liverpool, because they are also magic. So I'd just like to finally say sayonara. 
and thank you very much for listening to me. Bye-bye.